All right guys, it's Clinton with CNC Equipment. Today we got a second part to the video. The first part we actually put on this winch. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, let's do that. Today we're getting ready to put on a um, Paint Valley Equipment log arch on the back of this 700H dozer made in the USA. We keep these in stock. Um, they will fit uh, any of the 700 series John Deere dozers, whether it's H, J, K, or L. Um, it comes with everything you need. The brackets do have to weld on. The winch mount here, you notice I've got that uh, paint ground off there already. They come, the kit comes with these two ears. I've actually ground the paint off these two already. And then there's two arms that connect the uh, log arch to the winch too. So um, these arms actually go to here. One arm is bent over a little bit farther because that uh, winch actually sits offset to that mount a little bit. And I'll show you guys that when we get this all up on here. Um, first thing you gotta do, this pin comes in, it's got paint on it. We've cleaned this paint all off so this will slide out. But this pin here is actually gonna slide to this lower lower boss here. Now we've done an installation on uh, a log arch before on the uh, 450 to 650 size tractors. They're a little bit different in how they mount and stuff, but the basic head's still the same. So you guys can follow along. Randy's gonna get uh, forklift fired up and we're gonna get this mounted up. We'll get the arms mocked into place and we'll get those lower brackets sitting where we want them to. We'll get them clamped up and get them tacked on. All right, we got that pin through there. Kevin's putting on that snap ring that holds this in place. What do you think? Ta-da. So we got this thing tilted about where we need it. We need to pop those top two pins out now. Ta-da. They come with the pins in there. You take the snap ring out. So if you guys watched the first video, I had a different helper. We had to go back to school today. So I got stuck with the, these two guys. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Isn't that awful? Yeah, I'll be dipped. Take your pin to that side. Take oh. the other side out. So he's gonna take the other side out, and then we're gonna get these uh, arms up in there and see where we're at. All right, you guys, see these two arms laid out. This one here has more of an offset on it, and it's gonna go on the uh, left-hand side of the machine, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about as soon as these guys get out of the way. Hush. You're in my picture. Hush. So if you look, this log arch is kind of sitting off to the left side, so it takes more of an angle to go out to this left side over here. So the bracket's got the more offset, it's gonna go on the left side. You can see how this side's more flush. Yeah. All right, we got the shorter arm side on here. I actually got it clamped into place. You gotta leave yourself enough room to get these uh, bolts back out in case the winch has to come off. Um, I like to leave them down here about three eighths to get a nice weld in there. They got everything cleaned out. You guys wanna grab the arm for the other side? Yeah. Like I say, it's just all temporary mark, mocked into place. So these arms actually have a longer ear. I'll show them this here. You look, this section is longer here than this section. So this longer part goes up to the log arch head first too. You ready? Got that. No. So we'll always put the upper upper pin in first. Okay. Then we'll put that lower mount on. The pin there. All right. 
we got a C clamp. So we'll get it set in about the same as the other side there. And leave yourself room for the bolt holes. Go ahead and clamp that there and we'll see what it looks like. Need to go up, we need a hammer. What do you mean a hammer? Weed a bit. Oh, that was a big wee bit. How about that? I like it like that. Um, oh. uh, da. <laughs> I'm trying to hold a camera and do this. Well, multitasking. So we got that back down about three eighths. This side's about flush. You can see over there. You can see how those mounts, they, the ear goes points up a little bit on those two. They've got instructions um, on that too. So, what we're we ready for now, Tacker. Master welder. Tacker 9000. I'll get these tacked on here and then we'll pull this arms back out of the way. You know, weld those up fully. We've got some spark paper on there to protect Kevin's pretty paint job. We'll get these tacked up. All right, I got those brackets all tacked on. What we're gonna do now is pull these arms back out of my way. Kevin thinks I can weld around them. Master welder, kid. That's all right. You got that one? Yep. Got the C-clamp out of the way. So if you're not a professional welder, I definitely recommend getting somebody to weld them up because this is, what is that, 5 8 thick? Mm -hmm. It's not, uh, it's some pretty thick steel, so. We do keep these in stock, so if you guys are looking for one, we do install them too. I keep them in stock for the little tractors, G series, 450 to 650s, um, and the hydrostatic series, and of course the 700s are all the same. We keep those in stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these brackets welded in, and Kevin's probably gonna touch the paint up there, and then we'll get it all put back together. And then we've got a set of limb risers sitting over there. We're gonna put those on next. All right, got the brackets all welded on there. Put about three passes, top and bottom on both sides. So about the only thing left on this project is uh, touching the yellow paint up there where we welded that stuff on. Um, then we've got to put the limb risers on next and we'll actually uh, put the cable on there. We'll show you guys how we do that here after a bit, after we get the limb risers on and get it outside. So Kevin's gonna get that touched up and then we'll work on the limb risers. All right, we're getting ready to put our sweeps on. The part number for those is AT317746. These are made by Paint Valley Equipment, a uh, company over in Ohio, USA made stuff. Um, we got the limb risers hooked up to the forklift. These are the Mountaineers here. Um, they don't give you any hardware with this kit. Um, you can use these bolts that come in the upper ears. They're just kind of temporary shipping bolts. I believe on the 700 J's and K's, the 700 H actually has smaller mounting holes up here. They have 16 millimeter holes instead of the 20 millimeter holes like the J's and stuff do. So 
they give you pretty good instructions here just basic instructions but it's pretty pretty self-explanatory we're going to get uh, that slit over here kevin's already got the grill popped out because they're utilizing there's three bolts in the top of the hood up here we're putting uh, actually a 20 millimeter bolt through there you could put a uh, three-quarter american bolt if that's what you got so you know what you got to hinge the grill out to get access and take this little headlight panel out you get access to those so he'll get that uh, brought over here we'll probably get those bolts put in there loosely and then those uh upper ears up here they actually slide a little bit we'll get everything lined up before we tighten it down Come on down real easy. Whoa. Come on down a little bit. Come on down. Nope. I go back up a little bit. Maybe. You got them rubber bushings in there already, don't you? Yeah. Well, go on down a little bit. That's good. All right, so up here on the roof, this little, let's look at this bushing here, Kevin. This bushing comes in the kit. Uh, the big part of it goes down. We've got the little plastic bushing back there in the back. He's going to set that on there. The curved end goes forward. And like I say on this 700H, it's using 16 millimeter bolts. Takes like a 24 millimeter socket, or 15 sixteenths. So he's got those all threaded in. We've got these loose. I got the bolts in the front up here. I think you're ready to tighten stuff up, aren't you? Y'all done up there? So he's got that all tightened up and uh, we just got to put nuts. I got one on here, got to put two more nuts, tighten these down. I did use 20 millimeter bolts. You could use a three quarter. Um, we're gonna get those tightened up. We'll put the headlights back in and the grill and then the limb risers will be done. We'll go back on the winch. All right, we got the limb risers all on there, bolted up. We got the uh, rest of the shields back on the winch here. Got those all put back on. You've seen in the previous video, we got those all mocked up. We actually had to cut those. Kevin painted those. He got uh, these brackets painted on there. All nice, clean, crisp look. So last thing we got to do on this tractor before it's ready to go is put the uh, winch cable on it. So I've undone this bolt. It's got a little keeper. There's a belt fits in here. We'll get the winch cable drug out next. We usually put um, two two sliders and one tail hold on i got those over there we'll get them out for uh chokers for these logger guys so we'll tie a knot on the end of the cable we'll get that on there and get her all wound up all right we got the tractor outside and it's beautiful cold sunny day um so what we're getting ready to do is put the cable on over there so these are the sliders i got two sliders and this is a tail hold you can see that the hole is smaller in this tail hold so we'll tie a knot on the end of this cable uh, to keep that from sliding off so this cable has what they call a watch it don't get you it's a snake it's got a bell here by kevin's big toe it's going to go up in this winch we'll get it put on there first 
And then we'll drag the cable out, get the sliders and tail holds on it, and get a knot tied in it. Then we'll use the forklift for uh, uh, some weight to pull it in nice and tight. Probably have to grab Randy for this operation too. So we'll feed that cable up over here, and then it's going to come down into this uh, holder here, that bell, and we'll get this bolt put in there. Bobby. You gotta go up and over here. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going in here. Yeah, that's the wrong place. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, you ain't no longer. Just like that. What do I do with that part? Put it in my pocket here. Beautiful. How many knots are you gonna get in this cable? Sixty-four. Sixty-four knots. Sixty-four knots and a slap Gotta be, in the face. Yeah, careful with these cables. They get a lot of tension on them and Get me some gloves on. So this is a um, three-quarter cable that's swedged down to five-eighths. You guys see how smooth that is? So it's a lot easier to for the loggers to pull out and stuff. It's a little cost a little more money, but they like these cables. The diameter, diameter is smaller, but it's actually three-quarter. It's just crimped down. Kevin, you're getting a big mess going on there. So let's see if I got my pants here. This is a 100 foot cable. Hey, your forklift's at 50 foot, not 100. Uh oh. What happened here? He figure aided it. Please hold. Our station out there. How good are you with knots? Well, I'm a so, four time Boy Scout Knot Master Championship. Are you sure about that? No. I'd like to help you, but I'm holding all this I know. good stuff I know. here, and you're doing a good job. I know. Think that's it? Uh, <laughs> I think you just made another knot. Yeah. Oh, you got it. Hope, oh, whoa, almost close. How did you do that? Problem is, is it jumped up? Well, it could at be me. like these loggers, and they just go ahead and pull it tight and put a big <laughs> knot in it for us. It jumped up and tried to bite me, so I let go of it. <laughs> we get these tractors in here. We got to work on these winches, and they got the freaking cable wound around them and underneath and knotted. And we spend more time trying to get it loose. And we just cut them free. Just cut them. You got it now. It's a long way back here. You need to bring your forklift back here. Okay. You want to hold this for me? You ready, Freddy? Good video. Good video. I'm gonna do the side of it. All right. I'm gonna get those sliders down there. Stupid, I got your stupid gloves. Is that right? Yeah. Another slider. Is that the right way? I'm not far enough to have anything. We're not loggers, so don't be uh, don't be making fun of us here. I think it's right. No, that's wrong. It's wrong. Everything's wrong about this. Now it's right. That looks better. Okay. You ready for some super sweet knot tying skills? 12 time champion here. That's all right. Get me a job on the PBR rodeo circuit. That's all right. And a couple of vice grips there. It's not tight enough. Hmm. That sounded tight. She tight. 
bust you in the jaw when she comes loose. Mm-mm. Let's stay back. Nope. I ain't strong enough. Well. Mm-hmm. There she goes. Hold those. Well, we gotta go your way. What do you think? Is that enough to get started? Oh yeah. Need a little chain. A baby chain. A little baby chain. All right, so we got us a knot tied in there. We got the vice grips on her to keep from uh, slipping off. Then we'll put a chain through this uh, tail hold. I think. Boy, it sure is hard to work with gloves on. <laughs> Point. I will just take them off. I'm gonna back her up. Yep, yep. I'm gonna back her up, put a little tension on it. Got her not all started. We got tension on the cable. A couple sliders down here will slide up the way. Kevin's gonna go haul at Randy. He's gonna basically just ride the brakes on the forklift, keep tension on it so this cable stays nice and taut, and then Kevin will uh, help me get it wound up nice and pretty. Probably be the last time it will look nice, but hey, it's gotta look nice going out the door. First time I hook something up to it, it'll be all wound, done, even, and everything else. So we'll get you guys set up here and you can watch. Look at that rolling camera. Are you going to hit that? No pressure? No pressure. I don't need my gloves, do I? All right, guys, got the cable on there, all wound up. I'm gonna say it's probably not our best cable winding I'm job. Go ahead and say it's our worst. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on there. You guys can see that knot all pulled up there. So the more they work it, the tighter it's gonna get. So our knot was good, but I don't know about our cable yeah. winding. Yeah, well, they'll but pull it out one time. It'll be me and you both know the first time they're pulled out, it's gonna be trash. So. Yeah. If you guys like seeing this kind of stuff, let us know. I do have the log arches in stock for sale. 
as well as the limb risers all stuff we get um it's all from paint valley equipment in our aisle um it's quality american made stuff you can see right there none of that none of that import stuff so guys like these kind of videos let us know um i will link the description to the first part of this video where we put the winch on and the hydraulic pump and all that stuff hunter and i did that so i think this is a wrap guys like this stuff let us know down in the comments below you got any questions let us know too definitely give us a thumbs up it helps us out a bunch so we will see you guys next time you gonna say bye ah. adios